Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to this certification exam rapid training session. This session is going to deal with the MS500 Microsoft 365 Security Administration exam, and it's going to be delivered by myself, David Branscombe, Ed Fisher, Will Martin, and Zue Song. Our agenda is pretty straightforward. Uh, we will have an exam overview. Uh, we'll cover the exam topics, talk about some resources that are available to us, and then we'll set you on your way with a call to action. The objectives of this learning effort are really pretty simple. We want to make sure that we equip you with the knowledge that you need to feel competent as you prepare for the MS500 exam. Want to make sure you have the confidence you need to go out and take the exam and pass it and show you some areas where it's a good place for you to focus your time in studying so that you're able to tackle some of the more difficult concepts that are presented to you in the exam. So let's take a quick look at the MS500 exam. The learning path that's shown here illustrates the four main pillars uh, with regard to preparation that you'll need to master um, in order to take the exam. Ones that I'm highlighting here, these are the four main pillars. The exam itself is the MS500 uh, Microsoft 365 Security Administration exam. And then when you pass that exam, you will have the uh, certification of Microsoft 365 Security Administrator Associate. There's some very valuable links down here in the lower left corner about certification itself, uh, about the learning partners that you can leverage to enhance your training efforts, as well as the Microsoft Learn website, where there are lots of very valuable resources that can help you to prepare for the exam. If you do go the route of getting your training through a training provider, it will be broken down into four days as we see here, and those four days consist of the course titles that we uh, see here, um, and then here's the course IDs. As many of you know, we heard a lot of feedback from people uh, that there were some test takers who could just pass exams without having any hands-on experience with the products themselves. And so two years ago, we introduced what we call performance-based testing, which is a component of the exam that requires you to actually perform tasks within the product to achieve a set of tasks or a set of uh, objectives. So to that end, while most of the questions on this exam will be multiple choice uh, types of questions, you may get a question or two that require you to perform a set of hands-on tasks in a lab environment. Now, when I took the exam a little over a year ago, I didn't get any performance-based testing questions, uh, but the exams are constantly changing, so that may not be true with the exam today. Now, who is the ideal candidate for the MS500 exam? Well, to pass the exam, the most valuable thing that you can have, as you might expect, is experience with the technology. The more hands-on you get with the technology, the better your chances are of passing the exam. Now, typically this type of technology, the technology that's covered in this exam, is gonna be found in hybrid environments where you have some on-premise and some, on, uh, some cloud uh, component of your infrastructure. And the security tools that are covered in the exam tend to be found in your enterprise type environments where they may have a security team that responds to threats, performs investigations, and implements data governance controls. To be an effective security administrator, you also need to be able to communicate well with uh, your business stakeholders and uh, other workload administrators, so like your exchange administrator, your SharePoint administrator, so that you can plan and implement these security tools and strategies effectively and make sure that the implementation is smooth and meets your regulatory needs. So overall, 
it's a good idea if you have very strong skills with identity, information protection, threat protection, security management, and data governance roles.